Morning world, it's uh, Thursday the 22nd of June 2017, about 8.30 in the morning. The moon is in early Gemini. Now, uh, a few of you have asked me how I work with transits, how I use transits to forecast events or, or developments, both for individuals, which of course is my work, and uh, for the world, which is a kind of hobby thing, which is why I do these videos, it's, it's to get astrology out into the world. It's my passion. If you look at all the different planets and their movements in the sky as a kind of very mild sine wave, then every so often when a few planets come together, either in conjunction or opposition or at an angle to each other, it creates a kind of spike in those sine waves. And when that spike is not just involving two planets, but involving three or even four, it's almost certainly going to result in some type of um, measurable phenomena in people's lives, whether that is in terms of events and developments or in things happening to them from the outside world. It's either coming from them where they take action or towards them where they react. Obviously, actions are better than reactions because if you act, then you're in control of what you're doing. And if you react, you're not. For example, the two, I'll give you two points of, of stuff that's imminent. Uh, yesterday, Mercury moved into Cancer, and the more we get into next week, the closer Mercury is going to get to being in the same place in the sky from an Earth-based perspective as Mars. When Mercury and Mars come together, it's going to be at about 13, 14 degrees of Cancer. And this is going to be exact on the 27th, 28th, 29th of this month. The fact that this is happening in close, not exact, but close opposition to Pluto is enough to send those spikes off the scale in a number of ways. And Mercury being communication, Mars being action together creates quite a feisty, volatile, provocative and somewhat um, not aggressive or confrontational, but certainly assertive and projective energy. The fact that it's opposite Pluto also suggests an element of subversiveness with psychological undertones and perhaps the potential for something underhand or manipulative to come up. It could very easily be quite, uh, because Mars is involved, quite explosive or quite difficult in, in certain ways. There's a similar one today, well today, tomorrow. After having had the Sun and Mars and Mercury opposite Saturn, over the next 36 hours the Moon is approaching conjunction to the asteroid Ceres opposite Saturn. And this becomes exact tomorrow around midday UK time. I haven't looked at the exact time yet. So uh, I do anticipate, uh, after a couple of days of relative normality, I do anticipate the sort of upping once again of the background tension over the coming 36 hours. And I would expect things to be a little bit difficult. Also, of course, I can't help but note that with the Cancer New Moon on Saturday morning at about 3am, followed over Saturday evening by the moon in the sky being in the same place as Mars, getting close to opposite Pluto, I do expect events of this coming weekend, particularly Friday afternoon evening through to Saturday evening, at least UK-based times, to be somewhat tense. Uh, Sunday's looking a lot easier. So I do anticipate further developments. And people who are, you know, if you're going out, if you're having parties, you need to not let yourself get too out of, out of control over this coming weekend. Um, now, I did drop a teaser yesterday, and I'm going to drop another one now before I do the if. Um, Saturday morning at about between 9 and 10 a.m. UK time, I am going to drop something on you. And it's going to be something different. And hopefully it's going to be a bit of an antidote to what the world's been going through. And it's going to be fun. And uh, I think 99% of you are really going to like it, those of you that, that are up for it. So watch this space Saturday morning. And that's all I'm going to say on this one at the moment. Still 48 hours to go to get it right. But it's going to happen. Uh, here's today's if. It's, it's a different one than normal. If you had the power to enact 
one law globally, or else just in your own country, a law that doesn't currently exist, what would it be? That's a whole range here. I had to think about this one, but I come up with the idea that if I had to enact one law, either nationally in my country or globally, it would be the law to put every major political decision to referendum before it becomes law. This would have the effect of empowering individuals into having a say in the running of their own country and their own planet. So the introduction of referenda worldwide, that would be me. What would you do? I'd be interested to hear. Some of the comments I'm getting on these is, is brilliant. Thank you so much. It's really engaging. All right, catch you tomorrow, world. Today, moon's in Gemini all day. No major aspects today. A little bit of a ramping up of the energy, but generally today's a good day for getting things done. Catch you tomorrow, world. Bye.